This is Hunan, China, a land with 70 million inhabitants and full of hidden beauties. In this series, we will walk into the lives of those who travel, study, work and live in Hunan to give you a picture of what makes Hunan so attractive. I met Mark in an art bar, and he is about to start a new painting today. When the coronavirus came, I did this one. I have yet to finish it. I, I need to do something new here. And this was like that. A lot of anger. The coronavirus has caused chaos. Or the response to the coronavirus has caused chaos. I'm not sure which is worse. This is another one I did 30 years ago. One of my better ones, I think. And now, as you see, I change everything. Everything becomes far more colorful. It's the same split here. This is the new world. This is called Birth of the New World. And this is the old world. Can you tell me about yourself? My name's Mark. Originally from England. And I'm in Changsha, in China. Working here. And I am in the art bar where I paint. And this is my newest painting about Changsha. What's the painting about? If we look, is, this is a little drawing and we have different aspects of Changsha. So you've got Yuelu Mountain, Orange Island, IFS, this one. You've got Mekshi Lake Arts and Craft Center, Yuelu Academy, and here Sun Yahu. And my style of art is, I call it abstract realism. So it's always like half real, half abstract. Why do you choose Changsha? You've got really good road system, uh, good subway system, good transport. Um, it's not very fast and fero ferocious. It's quite peaceful. In many ways, that's what I like about Changsha. The people, uh, they're not pretentious. They, they don't pretend to be you know, New York or London or Washington or Paris. They, they're quite happy being from Hunan, from being from Changsha. And they're quite happy just being nice people, getting on with their lives without pretending to be something they're not. And I quite like that. Even though I live on the edge of the city in Singsha, next to Sun Yahu Lake, and it's like you walk out that way to the lake and you're walking out into the countryside. And then you turn around and suddenly there's this huge wall of, you know, buildings as you see in China. Very different to in the West where buildings tend to be low and it tends to be spaced out. But actually they're, they're really well designed because you live in, you know, I think there's 31 floors to each building and in the middle there's like a community with a lake all landscaped here very 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 good landscape gardening all over the city uh, everywhere landscape gardening is really good you can see i'm from the countryside so i like things like that and so actually these communes are very nice places to live and many things i like like uh you get the women doing square dancing at night. You always get the grandparents with the grandchildren uh, hanging out. So these community spaces are well-used spaces. Okay, so one block from the flat where I live is Sunya Hu. Hu is lake. This is Sunya Lake. And as you can see, you're looking out into the countryside. But if you turn this way, poof, city <laughs> and it's very impressive if you get to the other side of the lake over so the other side of the lake is over there and there's a sandy beach over there and then you turn round and you look this way and it's like a big brick wall of the city but i like this lake here it's very nice i used to walk it three or four times a week and i promised my son i was going to run it without stopping in six months. But I think that promise is, uh, is not going to happen. <laughs>